Hello and congratulations on the purchase of your new Sunbeam coffee machine. My name is Ben. I'm a barista and multi-award winning coffee roaster and I personally believe life is just too short to be drinking bad coffee. Sunbeam coffee machines are expertly designed to make your coffee ritual at home more effortless. In this video, I'll assist you with using your Origins Espresso machine for the first time and guide you through the process of making a great cup of coffee. Let's begin. After you've unboxed your Origins Espresso machine, you'll need to rinse the grinder hopper, removable top burr, milk jug, filter basket, group handle, tamper, and water tank in a bit of warm water with a mild detergent, making sure items are thoroughly dried before using. Remove the red plug underneath the water tank and install the charcoal filter. When the charcoal filter is installed, fill the water tank with cold water and insert it back into the machine. Now it's time to insert the power plug into the outlet and switch the power on. To turn the machine on, simply push the toggle switch downwards. The light next to the power switch will pulse to indicate the machine is heating up. When the pulsing stops and the manual, one cup and two cup buttons are fully illuminated, the machine is ready to use. Before making your first coffee, we need to prime the machine. Select and insert the two cup filter basket into the group handle. The best way to insert the group handle into the group head is by aligning the handle with the insert position on the group head, then turning the handle all the way to the center position. It's worth mentioning that it might be tight for the first few uses, as the silicon seal is still new. This is perfectly normal and will loosen over time. Put a cup under the group head and press the two cup button. You'll notice that the water will start flowing from the group head. For the first few seconds, the pump will make a louder than usual noise as it begins pumping water through. Once finished, the machine will return to the ready state. To prime the steam wand, rotate the dial to the steam position and let the steam run through for around 20 seconds. Then return the dial to the center position. As this machine has a dual thermoblock, you could do these steps simultaneously. The coffee machine is now primed and ready for use. If you enjoy your coffee a little on the hotter side, you can preheat your cup with hot water. Now, a lot of people have asked me why it's so important to preheat the glass. And the simple answer is, espresso is such a small volume of liquid and you can lose heat quickly. So you really want to make sure you keep as much heat as possible. Preheating ensures the coffee stays at its optimal drinking temperature for longer. To preheat your cup, simply place it on the drip tray under the hot water tap and turn the dial to the hot water position. Turn the hot water lever back to the center position and set the cup aside. Your machine comes with two sets of filter baskets, a single wall and a double wall. Single wall filter baskets are also known as non-pressurized baskets. Single wall baskets work best with freshly roasted coffee. Freshly roasted coffee produces greater resistance to the pump, reducing the need for a dual wall filter. This is also the same type of basket I use in my cafe. The other set of baskets are double wall. And like the name suggests, these baskets have two walls, one standard layer of mesh and another solid layer with a small hole. A double wall filter basket will enhance the crema and improve the overall consistency of your coffee. These baskets are best to use if you're a beginner in your manual coffee machine journey. We recommend using cafe quality beans from your local roaster for the best coffee results at home. Add the beans into the hopper. A good starting point for your grind size is 15. Turn the hopper until the grind size on the screen displays 15.
dry the group handle to ensure the ground coffee is being dosed into a dry filter basket. Using the appropriate filter basket, place the group handle into the dosing cradle. The beans I'm using are fresh and I'm going to make a double shot, so I'm selecting the two cup single wall filter basket. The Origins Espresso machine has a preset auto dose system, which means you can tap down once for a single dose of ground coffee if you're using a one cup filter basket, or tap down twice for a double dose if you're using the two cup filter basket. Once you have made your ground coffee dose selection, the screen will display one and the one cup will illuminate, or two and the two cup on the screen will illuminate. When the grinder has finished dosing into the group handle, remove the handle and place it on the bench top surface. Alternatively, there's a small pad under the group handle to rest against the edge of the bench top. Tamp with a medium pressure, somewhere between 10 to 15 kilos of pressure is ideal, but basically a gentle lean using some of your body weight is great. Next, simply rotate the tamper to level the coffee. The tamper has been designed so that the top of the tamper marries perfectly with the top of the group handle after tamping. Doing this will really help you get an even extraction. Next, simply wipe away any excess ground coffee on the filter basket. Now that you've successfully dosed and tamped, insert the group handle into the group head, turning it to the center position. Now you're ready to place the cup under the group handle. Press the one cup or two cup button. I selected the two cup filter basket earlier, so I'm going to press the two cup button. The shot volume has been automatically programmed to dispense the right amount of water. It will also automatically stop when the right amount of coffee has been poured. Another good espresso quality indicator is the extraction time or pour time. Generally speaking, the best time to aim for is between 20 to 30 seconds for both one cup and two cup shots. Perfect espresso should have a steady flow with a consistency that's similar to warm honey. The color should be a dark gold. This type of extraction will help you draw out the sweetest flavor and texture for rich tasting espresso. The color of the crema and the extraction will feel thin and watery. This occurs when the water flows through the ground coffee too fast creating a watery and sometimes sour tasting espresso. Under extractions can be caused by your ground coffee being too coarse, not enough coffee in the filter basket, using old coffee, or the tamping was too soft. To help remedy this, you can try using a finer grind, you can try adding more coffee to the filter basket and tamping a little bit firmer. You also might wanna check how fresh your coffee beans are remembering that it's important to use freshly roasted coffee beans between five to 20 days after they were roasted. When the extraction time is longer than 35 seconds, it's called an over extraction. From a visual perspective, your shot may drip throughout the entire pour, or there may be no pour at all. This tends to create a heavy, bitter tasting espresso. An over-extraction can be caused by the ground coffee being too fine, too much ground coffee in the filter basket, or tamping too hard. To fix this, simply use a coarser grind. Another option is to try to use a little less coffee in the filter basket and tamp with a softer pressure. Your coffee machine has an inbuilt dual thermoblock heating system, meaning you can pour your coffee and steam your milk at the same time, just like I do in my cafe. You don't have to wait for the coffee to finish before you start the milk. You can do both at the same time and make two cups of coffee together, so it's twice as fast. To create the perfect cafe quality milk, start by filling the milk jug up to or close to the bottom of the spout with cold milk. You're now ready to rotate the steam dial to the steam position. 
When the steam pressure is at its peak, turn the steam off and insert the wand into the milk jug. When you're ready, turn the steam dial back to the steam position and start texturing the milk. The steam wand should be at 12 o'clock and the steam wand tip should be at 3 o'clock. There should be about a finger width from the edge of the milk jug and the steam tip should sit just below the surface of the milk. If you're using the right technique, it should make a smooth hissing noise and the milk should spin in a whirlpool action. As the milk level rises, lower the jug to keep the tip just below the surface. The milk is ready when the milk jug becomes too hot to touch. When the milk is ready, return the steam lever to the off position and remove the milk jug from the steam wand. Remember to wipe the wand and tip with a damp cloth and always purge the steam wand immediately after milk texturing. You can do this by turning the steam on for one to two seconds and then turn it back to the off position. Purging ensures the steam wand is clean and ready for your next coffee. Swirl the jug to blend the milk and create a silky texture. Cafe quality milk should look like glossy white paint with a smooth and velvety mouthfeel. You can tap the jug to release larger air bubbles. Pour your milk in one steady stream. And now you've just made your first cafe style coffee at home. You can now remove the group handle by turning it anti-clockwise from the group head and dispose of the used coffee left in the group handle. And lastly, wash all the parts with warm water. I hope you found this video helpful. If you need any extra help on how to master your coffee extraction, milk texturing, how to clean your machine and more, check out the Sunbeam Coffee Hub for more videos. But for now, enjoy your barista style cafe quality coffee at home.